What's up guys, it's Philcus here today with another Minecraft video on the channel. I know it's been a while and I'm so sorry about that, but I'm finally, finally going to be posting videos again almost daily, so be excited for that. And today, what we are going to do is we are going to make a piston door that is locked by a button combination. So what you are going to need for this is 10 blocks of your choice, then 11 more different blocks of your choice, 10 stone buttons, 10 droppers, 18 pieces of redstone dust, a stack of another choice of blocks, 5 redstone comparators, 5 redstone torches, and 2 sticky pistons. You will start by making a wall of a two tall and five wide of one of your types of blocks of choices and then take the uh, stack of 11 and go around it and then after that place your 10 buttons on the wall of the first stack um, the first stack of choices of blocks you have and then after that is kind of a tricky part and you're gonna need an iron pickaxe for it or any type of pickaxe so first what you're gonna do is you're gonna place droppers facing upwards and then next you're gonna place blocks of your choice above um, another block above the droppers that are facing up and those are only gonna be temporarily and then you dig right under here so you can place it and you have to place droppers facing right back down into the droppers that are facing upwards. I hope that makes sense. Now here's what you do to get the um, combination in. So my combination is I'm just going to press the first button on the first row, then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one actually pretty quite simple so if you want it on the top row you're going to place just a comparator so I want the first two you have to press the top button then the next two I want to press the bottom button so I'm going to um, put comparators one block above and then the last one I want to push the top button so I'm going to put one on the bottom. And then use your um, blocks of choice and build another two high and five wide wall. And then whenever, wherever the comparators are going, you're going to place a redstone torch. So I'm going to put one on the bottom, then the two top, then the two bottom. And I'm going to connect that all with redstone. And then it can lead straight to your door, wherever you want to put that. And I just have 18 pieces of redstone because I'm going to put the door right next to it. Just like that. Or actually... You may, you may or may not need another piece of redstone if you're trying to make it too high. There. And then you just take the rest of blocks of your choice, put it in the door, and... The last thing you have to do is one of the most important things or else the door will not work. So you want to place an item in the opposite dropper that the comparator is going. So for this one, you're going to place an item right here. Any old item. I mean, I mean the other one, sorry guys. And then uh, you may or 
may not have actually messed up here. You have to place the items in the droppers first. And then go ahead and replace the comparators if you accidentally did that mistake. And then just place the last two items. And now let's give it a test. So I have to press top button twice, bottom button twice, and then top button. And the door should open. And voila. And if I press any button that I wasn't supposed to, it should close. Here's how it works, guys, if you're interested. So when you press the button, like if I want to have to um, press the top button, there'll be an item in this dropper, and then this dropper. Well, if you press the top button, it will shoot it down to this dropper, and the comparator will detect it, which will turn off the redstone torch, which will turn off the door. But if you press any of the wrong buttons, it will go back from the hopper with the comparator to the, cop the hopper without the comparator, and then it will close. I hope you guys enjoyed this short, awesome little tutorial. And if you did, smack that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Vilicus, and I'll see you all in the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.